Welcome to today's video. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to design a graphics making use of an AI tool. Um, quick information, guys. Uh, this particular AI tool is created, uh, um, developed by Microsoft team and it's owned by Microsoft. And the particular application is called Design App. Now, you can actually use this on the web and you can use it on your mobile phone as an app. So all you need to do is to go to the Play Store app or the application store and search for um, Microsoft Design. What am I typing? Microsoft Designer. All right. Either you type Microsoft Design or you type Microsoft Designer. And this is the particular application right here by Microsoft. I think this particular application is totally from another different creator. This is not Microsoft Designer. This is Microsoft Designer. And when you click on it, you notice it's owned by Microsoft Corporation, right? Now, if you're ready, go ahead and install it and open the application. Let's start working. So when you open the application, on default, it's going to show you this automatically generated um, designs. But to start working on the design afresh, whichever design you want to click create, just click on this area and give your design a description. Now you are going to describe it in a terms that the AI is going to understand properly. So for instance, if I want to make an Instagram post, I am going to say, um, um, and, and, All right, so when you're done typing, just go ahead and click on generate. So immediately you click on generate, it's going to start generating. You can notice on the screen, this animation actually means that it is actually generating your design. So it's going to generate your design, multiple design for you in order for you to choose. So this is the first one, very simple. You can swipe to see different design. This is also good, but uh, you can see the text it also generated, introducing our new web design business, creating beautiful website for your business, very good caption, but then um, it needs some touching, some touches. So you can swipe to see anyone you like and you choose just about anyone you think that is okay or that is very close to your unique, um, designing so just choose anyone and also pay attention to the caption if you are okay with them and just know that you can customize this design any way you like i think i actually like the previous one because it has a lot of caption or probably good captions on them and this is also very okay we can go ahead and focus on this so we can click on this and have it open wait for it to load up this might take a while it's going to load up the images and everything for you now, if you are not satisfied with these images, you can actually change, make changes to these images. Just double click on it. Once you double click on it, you can see that it's currently active. Now you can notice this icon. This icon means that you want to generate a different design or a different idea. So if you click on this, it's going to give you different ideas and you can see all of the ideas that is existing. So which means we can actually change this idea. But I do not want to change this um, particular layout pattern. I'm okay, sorry. Um, design idea is the same thing with the layout. The layout meaning the way it's arranged. Now you can see all of the samples that is being displayed. You can choose any one you like. But I actually like this particular layout. So I'm going to leave that. So all I need to do is to click on this image and then replace. So when you click on replace, you can either select this image from the images on your device or you select um, an image making use of AI. So if you click on the AI, you are going to actually search for um, what you think that is relating, is going to suggest for you a cat playing a video game, a video game as a, okay, whatever it is. And then there are other ones. So now I want to generate a different image. So I'm going to generate, um, okay, a web, design sample okay a web design sample and then 
generate. So when it generates our image, we can choose from the one that we want. Wait for it, it's loading. All right, so guys, this is actually what it generated for me, which is totally off. <laughs> this is not, um, this is not what I'm expecting. So let me go ahead and do a different search. All right, um, a UI US design in style of, okay. A UI US design from below. Okay, the thing is, I think if it generates a suggestion, I think it can easily give us better results based on the, um, based on the suggestion. Because if I'm using the one that I type, it might not give me exactly what I want. So, uh, like biopunk scenery. Not really. Let me do this. All right, guys. So I actually wanted to use website UI design, but I couldn't find any. So I decided to actually sign, um, search for a person designing with a laptop. Okay, I put on a laptop. So I can now choose any of the image I want or I think is uh, very cool and okay and choose image to replace the existing image. And that um, has been replaced and also we can also double click on the test to actually um to actually edit the test so to edit the test just double click and you see option to edit below click on edit test and you can edit the test and i'm going to say uh um contact us for your all right trying to make it perfect for your new website design okay so once you're done uh notice on the top area right just click on this check icon right here and we are good to go it has been updated and i think creating uh creating beautiful website for your business which is also very cool now if initially if there are more things you want to do like adding more images and logo you can also do that just click on this check icon to confirm and you can see where it says graphics you can actually click on that and you can now add graphics either you want to add um a shape or any anything Anything just about you want, you can see them right here. But if you want to put icons, you can also see icons right here. Like I'm going to search for web icon. I should be able to see web icon. Uh, if that's not available, globe. Okay, for some reason, this is taking some time. Usually it should be faster than this, but um, I don't know why it's taking so much time to find. So let me just scroll. Uh, usually I easily find icon that I'm looking for, but for some reason it became slow right now. All right, hold on. There are so many art images, but my network is very poor. So let me just go back. You can always see images or icons that you want right here but we are having some network issue right now uh, yeah, i am going to close that reopen it i'm just going to choose anything at random that is exactly not what i want to choose though but just to save us some time i am okay with that and i actually want the image to be light this is fine and i'm going to rotate this a little this way yeah Okay, and if you decide to have a logo included also, you can also do that. Click on the check icon. Okay, hold on. I can actually make, uh, reduce the transparency by reducing the opacity like so. This should be fine. Confirm. And add another uh, graphics. We can just select anything uh, from the let's say we want to add the circular image reduce it and click on it 
I want this to be white. This is white. And no need to scale. Okay, let me scale it a bit further. And then duplicate this icon. This particular icon on the left area will duplicate your image. I hope you can see what I mean. This particular icon right here, this one. That is what to duplicate your image. So duplicate again. And I want to move this just like so. So I'm actually okay with that. Just adding so just adding it for some design perspective. Making it look okay. So I'm okay with that. And anything you want to add, let's assume you want to put your logo. Uh, you can always do that by clicking on add media. And then this is actually my device. And I'm going to go over to downloads. I think I have my logo under downloads. So I'm going to scroll right where I have my logo. Mm. Do I have TS Tech Talk logo right here? So it should be. Okay. This is the TS Tech Talk logo that I have. But actually, um, let me see if I can remove the background. It actually works, but on most images, it doesn't work. Okay, this works fine. It's not perfect, but it's still okay. So um, I'm okay with that. Click on the image, reduce the size. Let me move the direction so I won't reduce the size. Yeah, I'm okay with that, and I'm going to place it here. So, guys, this is how to design with... Um, this is how to design with Microsoft Designer. There is a lot of things you can do with this particular application. And you can see we can also replace this image and set it as a background and do so many things that you want. And whenever you're done, that is actually where the issue comes in. Whenever you're done, you cannot have this image saved on your device. I've done it multiple times. It did not work. So when you click on download and then um, you click on download the image, it's going to tell you that the image is saving on your device. And I've actually checked multiple times. This image did not actually save on my device. So this is actually what you need to do. Hold on. Um, close. This is actually what you need to do. Click on the image. Click on more. And you send it to uh, whichever social media you want to send it to. If you are sending it to your Facebook, it's going to go successfully. If you're sending it to your Instagram, it's also going to be successful. If you're sending it to WhatsApp, wherever you want to send this, this is going to go successful. But whenever you click on save to your device, it's not going to save. But if you are doing this on your PC, it's going to be able to save successfully. But whenever you are doing it on the app, it doesn't actually save. I am so sorry about that. And I actually have to find a way around it so what i usually do i send it to my whatsapp and then i send it back to my whatsapp and download it and have it on my device if not i won't be able to have the image so wherever you want to send it to just push it and it's going to send successfully to that area i am sending this to myself and i am um, to my timeline and i'm not publishing it uh locally anywhere so you notice this is my gallery it's supposed to actually display here or under my pictures but it doesn't actually display so if I go to my Facebook right now, I should be able to see that it has been saved, it has been uploaded or rather published. But I'm not publishing it to the public. I am the only person that is able to see this. You can notice right here. So this is not published to the public. So I can always click on this area and I should be able to save this image to my device. Click here and then um, save to your phone. And it has been saved to your phone. But I think the, the thing with saving it to other um, social media and saving it to your phone is that it might look, um, most times it might look spizier. I think it actually looks spizier. You can see the, these little traces around the test. That is actually losing pixel. But if you don't want it to lose pixel, just share it directly to wherever, whichever social media you're sending it to, and you are good to go. So, guys, this is actually a unique way or an easy way for you to create or generate art. And whenever you want to start creating a new artwork, you can always um, start a new one by either going backward and you can either start doing that or you can see your old design. Hold on. You can see your old design by clicking on this area. This particular area right here 
it's going to give you an old design. And if you want to cr create a new design, you can always click on this plus icon to create a new design for you. And also you can um, reshuffle your image or the size of the image, whichever one you want by clicking on this particular area right here. So, so many things you can do with this tool. You can do a whole lot of things. And if you find any uh, bug or any issue, you can click on this one, the last option right here to actually send a feedback. And I actually did not say this guys. Also, you need to log in with your email. I have logged in and I did not say that from the beginning of the video. You actually need to log in with your email to be able to do this. So guys, I hope this video is helpful. If it's helpful in any way, please let me know on the comment section. And if you have any issue making use of this particular AI tool, let me know on the comment section and I'm going to help you to um, help you to fix whatever issue it is. And thank you for watching. I will see you on my next video. Please stay safe and peace.